So, uh, so we, here we have a medicine that works, that's 40 years old, doesn't have any harmful side effects, ivermectin, versus a whole lot of new things being created under patent so that people can make tons of money, the pharma industry. So now, now I can see the pharma industry has a vested interest. What about the FDA? What about the World Health Organization? They're supposed to be neutral. They're supposed to be, they're supposed to be supporting patients, uh, the common person, and not the big pharma. What about them? Why are they uh, not, uh, uh, you know, why are they not propagating ivermectin, which is uh, ivermectin uh, should be the one that uh, uh, they should be doing it. Uh, they should be promoting. Why aren't they doing it? What's in it for them? Uh, what's in it for the media that uh, they are not even allowing this kind of a debate, as I understand it? Well, I wish I knew the answers to all of these things because, uh, you know, then I, then I, uh, it's because it's, I don't have the answers. All I can do is, is really look at the World Health Organization and look at these other organizations and, and try and ask myself, do they have conflicts of interest that would um, lead to a situation where they are clamping down or not recommending safe old medicines for a new dangerous condition, um, even though we, ha they, we have no treatment, you know, uh, at the moment, uh, are they, what would be the reasons? And, um, you know, what seems to, to be the issue is this, the fact that they're all pushing mass vaccination with an experimental um, substance or injection. So, um, it seems like they have this single track and they are not really uh, interested in in um, pursuing early treatments and repurposing medicines. They seem to so, be really just uh, on, you know, trying to develop either new medicines or, or push the, the, the vaccines. 